Welcome, Sagis. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you. All right, Sagittarian, let's look at your Gemini season. Geminis are coming in to help you, Sagittarians. All right, so Sagittarian, Gemini is your opposite sign. And if you're doing business or at work, you will recognize that you can get along with Geminis because um, Gemini support your opposite, is your opposite sign and support you. All right, Sagi, this is a beautiful, beautiful reading for you. Um, and this is going to be really, really positive. So what we're seeing is that some sort of a failure. Some of you had some sort of a failure, failure dealing with a, um, a Taurus woman. Whoever this Taurus woman is, um, you kind of fail some sort of a agreement, some sort of a work, work connection that you had with a, a Virgo or a Taurus. This is looking like a Taurus woman. So um, some of you, if you have a Taurus woman as your boss or supervisor, um, it can be a situation that you fail um, maybe applying for a job for this person. This person could have been a supervisor. Maybe this person came in and applied to you, but they... You know, they fail. Some sort of a, a legal issue that you were having with a whole boss. I see this Taurus person is going to be failing, okay? So it is really coming up as a Taurus and a Gemini. A lot of you are dealing with a Taurus woman and a Gemini woman. And I see failure for the Taurus woman, but the Gemini woman could be gaining um, a lot of money from you, Sagittarian, because it's as if there could have been some sort of a problem where, um, this, um, this, these two people could have, um, took it to court. You could have been a manager of a company and these two people have taken you to court. The, um, you're going to, Sag, Sag, there's an energy of failure in the first week, whatever is transpiring and is happening. And um, you could be recognizing that some of you Sagittarian could be fired for something that you have done um, to a Virgo woman. And uh, a Virgo woman is going to be uh, creating such, because if you notice, this woman is in reverse and she's upright. She's looking um, at left and she's looking at right. So a lot of you Sagittarian have been dealing with some sort of an issue with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. And I see that some of you Sagittarian have to pay this woman back a whole lot of money because this woman is going to be victoriously over you Sagittarian that has transpired and created some sort of an issue. And I see you Sagittarian, if you're a boss or you're in a high position, you could have used your powers in the wrong way. And this woman is coming back because if you notice, this woman is not upright. This woman is in the reverse looking at everything that is going on around her and above her. If she was upright, she would be looking down and not looking at what is happening. But this woman is like, she's open. She is just looking. She is just recognizing. And it's as if everything that you're throwing at her, this woman, if you notice how the piercing eyes, and she is not... Um, you know, she is using her sword of truth and she's taking down whatever is going on and definitely she's standing her ground. So I see um, in the first week and the energy of failure comes up. So be aware. Um, you, um, a, a lot of you Sagittarian men are going to be very successful women, not that much, but Sagittarian men, especially businessmen. Um, is going to be successful Sagittarian who, um, uh, sue, um, who had sued, uh, your ex coworker or your ex, yes, some of you Sagittarian are going to be gaining by selling your business. Okay. And that is going to be good. All right. So let's get in this reading. So the first week is from the 21st until the 27th. And I see you are going to be failing the seven of. Um, um, the seven of pentacles, Saturn in Taurus. So, um, I see a, a Taurus could be getting fired or you Sagittarian could be getting fired. Whenever Saturn is in Taurus, this is serious, serious. So, 
um because whatever you whatever situation is going on um discipline is coming back because a saturn in taurus is about some sort of a management so management's um, it's about management bringing back discipline and a corporation institution and you Sagittarian could have created some sort of an issue and problems for the company or the corporation and I see your manager is going to be reprimanding you and you could be fired okay there is just two energy whenever Saturn Saturn can come up as reprimanded but Saturn can come up as you being fired because this is a um, failure okay some of you, if you're a manager, you could be firing a Taurus, okay? Or you could, um, um, if you had some sort of a legal issue with your boss or supervisor, um, you're not going to be winning, okay? So if you had a legal issue against uh, um, a Taurus woman, you are not going to be winning. This person is going to be winning, okay? And um, it is a crazy, crazy situation that is happening in this first week because um, this energy of failure, I think that a Taurus, because you and your boss could be going at it for a very long time. Um, you and people in management could be going at it for a very long time. And I see you are not going to be winning this Sagittarian because they have too much information to back up a lot of things. And it's not going to be a win-win situation with your boss in the first week. Let it go. Your boss or management, let it go because it's not going to be a win-win situation. And especially if you are dealing with a Taurus boss or a Taurus at all, it's not going to be a win-win situation. As we look at the second week, we see the energy of the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, this is an emotional person, water of her. This person is very emotional. Um, this person rule with the face, but um, balance the emotional self also. This is in the second week, the week of the 28th until the 3rd of June. And this week until the 28th, until the 3rd of June, this woman is really visually visualizing everything around her. She is hitting right to life. Whatever that you Sagittarian has created, for some sort of a chaos, um, at, for this person at work, this person is eating and it's as if she has an antenna and she's recognizing all the chaos that was created. So whether or not this person is your boss or this person is a business person, this person is looking, it's like she had a radar antenna that is uh, surrounding and and, and shutting down all the loopholes of what people were doing. You know, this person is emotional, but they're emotional, but they're mentally stable. Okay. So you can have people, emotional people, but they, they're emotional, but they're in, in um, they're in balance. Now in business, because you have to understand that Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn people or bosses okay they they rule the energy of uh, the pentacles and they are bosses so um as they know how to rule um with logic okay they're very anal analytic and they rule with logic so if you notice this woman is not uh, um sitting pretty upright she is in the reverse and she's looking at everything that is happening above her okay she's looking east west north or south she's she's recognizing and she's seeing she's 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 um investigating a situation and analytically um dissolving and looking at details and looking at everything and the connection. So it is a person that is like, you know, sometimes you go in someone's office and um, they rest back on the stool and they put their foot up and they're looking up in uh, at the ceiling. That is what this lady is doing. If you notice how she's in reverse, but if you recognize she is a uh, um, taking a good look, you know, sometimes you get out of a meeting and you go back, um, in your office because you receive some sort of, uh, a news that you sit and, and, and you think, whoa, and you started thinking about the, um, conversation and you started looking at the, 
um, the connection with what has been going on and you just lean back in your stool. And that's why most office stool are made for people to lean back in order for them um, to think about things, okay? Sometimes when you're upright and you just sit upright all the time, um, your blood doesn't flow. And when your blood start flowing, that's when blood goes to your head and you start to look at certain details and analyze. So most of the time you will walk past someone's office and recognize that they either turn their back to the door, looking through the window behind them and put up their feet and actually lounging because that's when they can think and analyze situation. And this is exactly what this lady is doing. And that is how this lady is going to be having and gaining um, power and success over you, Sagittarian, because you, Sagittarian, are, are standing up and it's just bam, bam, bam. And you created a whole lot of custard of things. And this person is analyzing everything and is looking back and is uh, by launching this person is uh, looking at details and connecting the dot and this is where this person is going to be uh, um overcoming a whole lot of things and resolving a whole lot of issues so asadji uh, if you had some sort of legal issues some sort of problems so, um with a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person, this person is aware that you, Sagittarian, was the one that threw them onto the bus. And they are aware of what you have done. They're aware of the, the network and the connection and the people that you use to work against them. And this is where they're going to be gaining a lot on you because um, uh, you are fire. This person is a hurt person. They are hurt, okay? You have to understand fire blaze where there's smoke, there is fire. So you have to understand the position between you and a Capricorn person. If you notice, you're blazing your fire and this person is, uh, um, um, you know, kind of getting on the, the fire. You know, this person is laying on the ground, all right? And this fire is blazing above her and she is taking calm and rescue um, with her back on the ground watching the fire blazing because whenever there is no more oxygen and there's no more smoke, there cannot be any fire and you have been raging and this person just sit back and watch you and just analytically looking at the details and how you do things and this person is being very quiet. At the end of the day, Saji, you got to be aware um who you're dealing with okay because hurt people are very they are they have to reach a, a boiling point hurt people will take in things take in things take in things but this woman is someone that it could be a manager or it could be a very high professional person um and you try to pull um the string of this person this person uh, um, I, you know, whatever your motive was, um, you know, it's kind of crazy, but this person just went on there and now she's about to emerge. Okay. In the third week, a powerful week gains, um, gains are coming in. Um, so I see a lot of business in the third week is going to be good. Um, some sort of a bonus could be paying out. That is good. Um, gains um, in the third week you have the, um, the nine of pentacles uh, and this is Venus in Virgo so bam 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 this is good um, this is positive this is good uh, Venus in Virgo is positive it's about um, some of you are going to be gaining a lot of money. So let's say that you and a Virgo had some sort of a uh, legal battles. This Virgo have to pay you a whole lot of money. All right. So um, if it was a Virgo boss, okay. Um, uh, if it was a Virgo man, this man um, might have to. You have to pay this man a whole lot of money, Saji. Because it's Venus in Virgo. 
Um, and this is positive. This is about a whole lot of money. And it has to do with a Virgo. So Virgos are seen as like um, uh, customer service salespeople. Um, it's going to be um, making a lot of money. This is like uh, uh, money that a Virgo had to hold to you or you owe a Virgo is going to be balanced. This is like karma. Okay, so it's action and reaction. So if if you are a client and you sell something and a Virgo should have paid you, there could have been some sort of a lawsuit. A Virgo has to pay out some money or you have to receive some money. But it's also businesses. It's also money that was owed and need to be paid back. It's going to be pay out and this is going to be good. So a lot of you who are self-employed, um, this is going to be an absolutely good week. Um, a lot of you, uh, money that was owed to you is going to be returned. And this is going to be good because this is in the upright. Okay. So, and, but it can also be that some of you might have to pay out a whole lot of money to a Virgo for some sort of a damage, but it's more as airful. Yes. Um, yes. And I see, Whoever this Virgo is, um, what a man or a woman, um, this Virgo is going to be gaining a lot from you, Sagittarian, and it's because um, you, you Sagittarian, has kind of collaborated, maybe as a partnership, and a Virgo is going to be buying your partnership or is um, some sort of a collaboration that um, never went good, and you have to pay a Virgo a whole lot of money. So. You know, Sagi, this is coming up in different, different forms for you guys. You got to check out which one of the crystal and what is going on for you. In the last week, some sort of a good news is going to be coming in. Um, really, really positive news. The six of ones. Um, this is, um, about uh, Jupiter in Leo. Okay. So a lot of you are going to be overcoming a Leo. There, you know, um, whatever is transpiring, I see you Sagittarian are definitely going to be overcoming a Leo because you're going to be receiving. So Jupiter in Leo is an overwinning. Okay. And this is going to be, um, week four, 11 to 20, week four, 11 to 20. Um, Jupiter in Leo is that, uh, um, good news. Um, well, it could be good news. Jupiter in Leo, good news. Um, oh, oh my God. It's so, so sad. You're going to be overcoming a Leo because Jupiter is your, um, your planetary. And you're going to be getting some sort of a good news over a Leo because you're governed by Jupiter. So good news is going to be coming in. You could get a promotion over a Leo. You could get uh, um, some sort of a push in your career fields over a Leo, um, a Leo that was creating a lot of um, issue. You're going to be overcoming this Leo. So... This is wonderful because some sort of a good news is going to be coming in for you, Sagittarius, in the last week. And when Jupiter is in Leo, if it's the Leo reading, then they are going to be getting some good news. But it is your reading, Sagittarius. Jupiter is your ruling planets and you're going to be getting some sort of a good news over a Leo. Because this is a situation where you could have been dealing with some sort of a problem. Um, and you are overcoming this problem because, um, you're going to be successfully overcoming a Leo for what a Leo have done. If it was in their reading, they would have been getting good news, but it's in your reading, Sagittarian, and you are governed by the planet of Jupiter. All right. So if you're doing anything with a Leo in the last week, it's going to be a yes. Um, you know, and this is going to be very positive. I see a whole lot of money is going to be, um, regained and, um, it's as if money is going to be coming back into your business for a lot of you Sagittarian. A lot of you Sagittarian that was waiting on some money to, um, come out is going to be coming out. 
Um, so this is going to be good. Um, whatever that was happening and transpiring, I see you are going to be regaining financial stability and this is going to be good. So expect business to be good for a lot of you business people. I got to go for, please share these reading. Um, go check out which one of the symbols affect you, whether or not you want to hear good news about, um, a Leo or good news over a Leo money, whatever affects you. A lot of you are going to be dealing with the Taurus, uh, um, women and the, uh, it doesn't be, yeah, it can be women, but it can be men and women. You're going to be dealing with the Taurus uh, and the Geminis, the Virgos uh, and the Leos. Uh, um, all right. And you're going to be dealing with the Capricorns also, but it's as if these Capricorns are in the shadow watching what is going on. So they could be managers and that sort of a thing. I gotta go. Now I'm gonna stay until next time. <laughs>